Today's daily affirmation comes from the Satanic Bay Area, aka Black Mass Appeal, and it's the following. Selfhood is your birthright. And contrary to what religion would have you believe, this is actually the case. And I'm going to go into a tangent why, and you're going to sit here and listen. <laughs> In the USA politics, uh, currently there's a bunch of LGBTQ plus and anti-trans bills going around. And it's all in the name of making us not realize our actual selves. And um, it's mainly based in religion. Which is such a shame because our country is secular, whether these people like it or not. It's in our constitution. And what they're doing is unconstitutional. And anybody who's a true American and who say, you know, they love this country would agree with me on that. S Ever since I started with, like, Satanism and realizing my true self, which is a transmasculine, non-binary, two-spirit person, um, I have been so much happier. And I can't understand for the life of me how even trans people can participate in religion when it's so oppressive. I mean, for crying out loud, these people don't want us around. And I mean that in every sense of the word. And they try to make it so we can't realize our true and actual selves, which is our birthright. Hello? Now, people are like, well, that Leviticus quote is taken out of context. And it was a mistranslation. And, okay, let's pretend it was for a second. Because, you know, at this point, it really doesn't matter. Because it says what it says now. And that's what people are going on here and now. And that is why, you know, we have these... P like pieces of legislation like uh in Tennessee and stuff like that it, it's just crazy to me how we as a nation have come so far like and so little at the same time because I am fortunate enough to live in one of the most safest states for a, a you know an LGBTQ plus person but my heart breaks for these people who live in these area where they're kind of on the smaller side in comparison to the, everybody else, and everybody else gangs up on them. For a misconception that somehow, you know, trans females are going to enter the women's bathroom and hurt other women, when that's not even remotely true. You get people who hide under the LGBTQ+, plus, uh, to try to hurt people, sure, but not everybody's like that. And the fact that you would base one action on a majority is just so weird to me. And so close-minded. And at the same time, I sit here and I kind of giggle because these people, in, like in Tennessee in particular, are such, you know, snowflakes that they're mad, like, they're upset at a man in a skirt who's reading books to their children who obviously are enjoying it like if you don't want to do it don't participate in it don't trample on other people's rights not to quote my great-grandfather but you know your rights end as soon as you trample on other people's rights and that is a very true statement so at the end of the day remember selfhood is your birthright do whatever you want and whatever it takes to realize your true and actual self. It doesn't matter what people close or far to you believe. Because they are not you and they don't have to live in your skin. And at the end of the day, the only person you have to really care about is yourself. And that's the only thing you've ever had to rely on is yourself. I also don't care what demographic you are. Um you should also realize your true and actual self. And yes, you writing mean comments, that also means you as well. Because I am not you, and I don't wish harm or make fun of people to anyone. It's called being a decent human being and letting people live who are not harming you in any way, shape, or form. Hail Satan and hail thyself. And I just want to say a special thank you to the Satanic Bay Area for this one because I've been kind of thinking about this stuff for a while and this just gave me the catalyst for that. So thank you.